Once you've received your GR214V, initial setup will require a DC power supply, which I have hooked up to 24 volts DC through a electrolytic capacitor, a motor, which I have a NEMA 23 3.5 amp stepper motor, and a pulse source, which right now I am just using the step input. The step input is going to be a 0 to 5 volt input that will be active low and require a 5 volt common on the 5 volt terminal. Once you have your power supply, your motor, and your step pulse input plugged in, you'll then need to set the dip switch. The dip switch will set the current, which in this case is 3.5 amps for this motor, and the resolution, which I'll be setting to 256 microstep or 51,200 pulses per revolution. That current setting will be all switches turned off, except for switches four and five. Once that's done, I can safely turn the power on. Once you have power applied, you can then apply a step pulse input. Step pulse input in this case is coming from a function generator just for testing. Right now I'm sending a one kilohertz signal and as I increase the frequency, the motor will increase in speed. If you do not have a step pulse source available immediately, you can use the onboard self-test button. This will override any input signal and turn the motor in 10 microstep mode back and forth. You can see that when you push the self-test button, as long as I hold it down, the motor moves and it shows a GR214V is powered and working normally. The status LED should be solid green when it's running. One final option is going to be the standby current trim pot. This trim pot will adjust current at zero speed between 100 and 0%. 100% current will be at fully clockwise and 0% will be at fully counterclockwise. Every space in between will be a proportional current output. This means at zero speed, your motor can output either 100% current all the way down to 0% current based off of your application requirements. If I turn off the step pulse input, the drive will go into standby mode after one second. You can see at 100% current, it does not lose any torque. As I turn T2, the current will drop all the way down to its quiescent current. Once I turn the step pulse back on, it will resume at full power. I hope you enjoy the GR214V high resolution digital stepper drive. Thanks for watching.